Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're looking at 10 N64 games that are still fun to play. Big ball of poop. Oh, thanks. Just, you're welcome to it, mate. Yeah, thanks. For this list, we'll be looking at games from Nintendo's first 3D console that have aged the best. Which N64 games do you still pick up and play today? Be sure to let us know. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Star Wars Rogue Squadron. Factor 5 and LucasArts took the most thrilling thing about Star Wars, that doesn't involve lightsabers and the Force, and made a fantastic flight combat game. While the use of distance fog definitely shows the game's age, there's no denying how it controls. Gameplay is as smooth as it ever was, putting players in the middle of treacherous dogfights against the minions of the Empire. With recognizable locations and a plot set between episodes 4 and 5, there's plenty of nostalgia to enjoy. And with different objective types, a range of combat vehicles for mission replays, and enticing unlockable content, it gives you everything you could ask for. Except for multiplayer. Did Skywalker make that shot? That was me. Say, I thought I was the best. Hey! Star Fox 64. Your father helped me like that too! That be happening! Nintendo knows a thing or two about making its own flight combat game as well. Still considered the gold standard when it comes to Fox's adventures, Star Fox 64 has aged incredibly well. Flying through the Lilat system, shooting down enemy pilots and bots never gets old thanks to the precise mechanics. I made it! I'll analyze right away! Oh, for the dead. Branching paths offer variety for any playthrough, while its multiplayer modes make it a great party game. And its stellar voice acting gave us some of the most iconic lines in all of gaming. Do a barrel roll. With this release, Nintendo also introduced the world to Rumble and controllers via the Rumble Pack peripheral, an immersive feature that's still evolving today. If you've never played this historic game, it's time for a little homework. It's time to try a new weapon. Banjo Tooie. Rare showed it didn't know the meaning of sophomore slump when it released this follow up to the incredible Banjo Kazooie. It follows the bear and bird after Gruntilda, their witchy nemesis, returns to wreak more havoc. Wonderfully complementing the game's brightly colored landscapes are the increasingly wackier characters and joyful writing. Even if you didn't play it as a kid, the Saturday morning cartoon vibe will still make you feel like one. Rare improved on everything that made the first game great, but more importantly, players kept all the moves and power-ups unlocked in the first game while loading on a ton of new ones for the sequel. You can even transform Kazooie into a dragon, which clearly makes the sequel better. Paper Mario A lot of early 3D games showed their age only a few years after their release, but as you can see, Paper Mario doesn't really have that problem. The storybook-inspired art style is timeless and charming, with Nintendo enhancing it only slightly with each subsequent entry for the last two decades. <laughs> But there's more going on here than its visually unique presentation. It's also a great way to get into RPGs as the mechanics aren't overly complex. While the story doesn't break any new ground, the delightful supporting cast makes the Mushroom Kingdom feel more alive than it ever had before. There aren't a lot of RPGs on the N64, and this one is still the absolute best. Conker's Bad Fur Day. Big ball of poop. Oh, thanks. You're welcome to it, mate. Yeah, 
thanks. Part of what makes Conquer so great is Rare's continued perfection when it comes to platforming mechanics. But another part is the subversion of what anyone would expect a game about a cute squirrel to be. Suffering from the worst hangover imaginable, Conquer must make it through a series of hilarious sidetracks on his way home. <laughs> it even got a neck. Hey, look at you up there hanging there. You <laughs> stupid bastard ain't got a neck, are you? He ain't got a neck, has he? I already said that. Shut up. Mountains of mature humor and violence blended with the kid-friendly image resulted in a game unlike any before or since. And with every level themed around a different genre, they all feel fresh and exciting. Conquer goes from fighting a giant pile of feces to adventuring in prehistoric times to surviving hordes of the undead. And it is all just as wild as it sounds. <sighs> you are a great guy. A superb soldier. A military tactician. And yes, he was mortal. Like the rest of us. Super Mario 64. <laughs> Although its camera hasn't aged well, just about everything else in Super Mario 64 has. And it impeccably showcases how much of a master developer Nintendo is. The world's sandbox environments gave an element of exploration not seen in past Mario games, and the mascot's controls feel so great that exploring is an absolute treat. <laughs> Given the game's structure of collecting stars, there's also an openness to it as you'll unlock different worlds before completing the objectives in any single world. While none of this may sound that impressive now, it's because of Super Mario 64's success that so many followed in its footsteps. There's a reason it's considered a pinnacle in game design, and every player owes it to themselves to experience it. Here we go! Diddy Kong Racing While it's often overshadowed by a certain other kart racer, Diddy Kong Racing still has plenty for players to enjoy more than 20 years later. It offers a surprising amount of variety for the time it was released that could affect a player's experience. Different weight classes and vehicle types, which include kart, airplane, and hovercraft, need to be considered for the different terrain of each course. Different colored balloons also give racers a specific item, so there's a bit more strategy overall and a bit less randomness. Additionally, a story mode gives single players more enjoyment than simply racing computers. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. <laughs> We're bending the rules a bit, but it wouldn't feel right leaving either entry off the list. Ocarina of Time is a definitive must-play. It transitioned the franchise into 3D almost flawlessly with engaging world design, fantastic dungeons and puzzles, and a targeting mechanic still used today. Its classic adventure story also makes it relatable for any player. Majora's Mask is another astounding feat for different reasons. The requirement of the N64's expansion pack led to better graphics, while its dark themes of loss and grief make it a much more nuanced tale. The transformation mechanic via masks brought new layers to the already incredible gameplay of Ocarina. With Majora being a direct, although very different, sequel to Ocarina, they're each an excellent companion to the other. And both are standouts in one of Nintendo's most revered IPs. Super Smash Brothers. It can be difficult for new players to jump into the Super Smash Brothers series considering how much it has evolved over the years, but any type of player can still enjoy the original. The first of Nintendo's fighting crossovers still shows how genius of an idea it was, pitting characters like Mario, Link, Pikachu, and Samus against one another. Ah, yeah. 
Although characters move more slowly and have one less special attack, that doesn't deter from the fun. There's still a level of chaos that comes when a Pokeball appears, and still an air of competition between you and your friends. But everything is more manageable. Plus, it can be nice to visit the simple origins of gaming's most inventive fighter. Game set. Before we wrap up, here are a few honorable mentions. Yoshi's Story, a breezy, delightful platformer. <laughs> Donkey Kong 64, packed with Kong power and plenty of collectibles. Pokemon Stadium 2, battles and mini games make a great couch multiplayer concoction. There's the shot! Hit! That inflicted some damage! Mario Tennis, a simple game with surprising variety. Mario Kart 64. <laughs> no matter where you are or who you're with, if you bust out Mario Kart 64 and a few controllers, you're bound to have some fun. While it doesn't feature the level of variety in Diddy Kong Racing, its quick-paced gameplay, frantic items, and wonderful, hazard-filled tracks more than make up for it. It has aged much better than its predecessor in every way, from its track design to its addictive battle mode that tested friendships the world over. Mario Kart 64 is the definition of a classic party game that would send many into a nostalgia-induced haze of fond memories. And for anyone playing it for the first time, the building blocks for future entries will clearly be seen. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, there's more where that came from.